to see the exciting Irishman John Duddy, a real ticket seller in New York. He's been lined up for a crack at Kelly Pavlik. He is rarely in a dull fight. Takes on Canada's Walid Smishet. Looks capable, he's solid, he's strong, and he's been in with some high quality fighters and always looked the part. So popular here. The Irish lad who seeked his fame and fortune on the east coast of America. He went from a steel construction worker to a cult boxing yes. hero here in New York. Can he keep his unbeaten record intact? He's up against Walid Smichette, the French Canadian who's tough, but Duddy is probably tougher and better, Jim. Yeah, they won't be taking too many chances over another, moving them towards a world title fight there, I reckon, quite soon. Whether he's completely ready for that uh, is another matter. But you can pick hey, holes in his hey, technique, you can pick holes in his defence. But John Duddy fights the way he wants to fight. He sells a barrel load of tickets every time he boxes. And it's because of the way he fights that he does that. He's not going to change. And he reckons, and so these handles, with the way he fights, is good enough to take him all the way. Yeah, the Irish bars around that head, absolutely buzzing all week. Duddy pictures everywhere. And they so want him to succeed. Good punches by Smishet, though, early in this fight. He promised that he would give a really good account for himself. And Duddy, just momentarily, looked shaken. Well, I've just spoken about his lack of defence, but he doesn't seem to have any intentions of changing. And he's been teed up down here. This is dangerous to successful here and he's having a torrid torrid opener i mean duddy should have been stepping by there regrouping his head back together but the macho bit takes over as it does in every fight and he stands there and blazes back but these are thumping punches he's taken bang on the chin and he can punch smish yet 13 knockouts Trained by the Grant brothers, Otis and Howard. Right hands, defence so open of John Duddy. That's the problem. Does he fight with his face too much? Well, sometimes there's a case for just being simply too tough. If he wasn't as solid chin as he, as he is, then he would have to think of a body. But here he comes back. This is what he is so good at. Thunderous action, but again, right hands from Smichette. He's getting the better of this first round, and Duddy's hurt. Oh, and he's in trouble. This is incredible. In the garden, and there's oohs and ahs and a cut and he's under the left eye. And that's been a problem for Duddy. What an opener. This is exciting as you need this game, Adam, but this is not world-class boxing from John Duddy. Where is his head tonight? Taking everything. Chin has held up. Calls himself the sandstorm while in Smishet. And Duddy's been caught up in it. Oh well, dear. Don Turner is not going to be happy in that Duddy corner. As Howard Grant tries to freshen Smishet up. <laughs> what a three minutes. I've never seen a round like that in a long, long time, Adam. That was unbelievable. Both men teeing off at each other, but this man here certainly coming off by far the worst. Took everything. OK, he's proved he's a tough chin, but you shouldn't have be having to do that in every single fight. He didn't have a thought in his head, didn't try to use any of his technique. And if Smishy just punched that a little bit harder, this fight could be all over by now. Couldn't miss three and four punch combinations all landing on the target. He just doesn't seem to know how to take a backward step, and that is going to be his undoing when he moves up. They're talking about Kelly Pavlik. Wouldn't like to see that anytime soon. Well, I was told this week by Eddie McCoughlin, the uh, promoter of Irish ropes, that John Duddy and Kelly Pavlik is 99% signed for June the 7th. But the fight before the fight is always a dangerous one. And Walid Smishet wants to make his own name here. 
Well, as far as the, the Kelly public is concerned, you have to ask, but he's 28, is he going to get any better than this? And I don't know if he is, because he seems to have set up his stall. This is the way he's going to do business. So maybe it's a case of getting him in there before something goes wrong. Body shots were good from Daddy. Smichette looked tired after that first round, but again he catches him, this time with a combination. The right hand just can't miss. Head stating of Daddy. And you just can't believe that he's outboxed Howard Eastman in his last fight. Yeah, because he paid Howard Eastman respect, but he's paid Smichette absolutely no respect. He's not thinking of a defence, he wants to do it the hard way, the stupid way, the macho way, it's not working, it's time to come up with something else. Their signs are that he has the strength, physical strength, to grind this fellow down. But what is he going to be thinking when he watches tape of this and he wants to call himself a world-class performer? A great many American-based Irish will be holding their breath through this. The big plans could be going out the window if Smichette can continue and maintain this pace. That's a question mark, though. Now, there are signs that Duddy is going to grind him down, he's going to do it the hard way because he can take what Smichet has got, and I'm not sure that's true the other way around. So, signs are he's grinding out a result, but how he feels about this, or how he will feel when it's over, I don't know. These are good punches from Duddy. Still, no defence. A good combination from Duddy, reddening around the left eye. Of Smichet. And the body shot again, being driven in. He's had about six weeks' notice, Smichet. Duddy, who's been uh, training down in North Carolina, will be very fit. And that could be the difference here. Smichet's lunging a little bit with the punches now. He's feeling the pace. He's given it everything he has in the first couple of rounds. He must have felt several times he was one punch away from victory. So he's used up a lot of steam. Duddy, Duddy now looking that bit stronger, bit more comfortable. The hero in the Irish bars. This has been a barroom brawl for right, two right, rounds. Right, right. Smile from Smichette. Still open to the right hand, Daddy, but he did more. Hey, Daddy! Wow! We made it ourselves. That is such a treat. And, it, and it's handmade. Well, this yeah. is going to be so useful. It's a uh, pot. It's for your pens at work. And your toothbrush. Yes, handmade's just that bit more special. Amazing. That's why Pizza Hut mm. prepare all their pizzas by hand. And how, how long did it take you to make it? Don Turner, quietly spoken. The trainer who, along with Tommy Brooks, led Ivana Holyfield to that uh, tremendous first win over Mike Tyson. He's to be trained by uh, your old friend Charlie Nash, John Duddy. But he's with Turner now, and he's coming out. Well, with some intention in the third round. And Smithette just sent a distress signal. He's trying to walk him down, Jim. Yeah, well, the, the, the tide has certainly turned, and I think um, Smichette is in the... Well, he's thinking now that I've shown my best, I can't do any better, this fella's still here, I can't hit him any harder, I can't hit him any more often. So I think he's maybe beginning to realise the job's too big for him. But when he can land as cleanly as he has been doing, who knows? Duddy is so easy to hit. Now, Smichette has lost two of his last four. He's been stopped before. Good at domestic level in Canada. Duddy, meant to be, fighting for a world title. What on earth will Kelly Pavlik be thinking of this? I mean, this is one of these fights, Adam. You need a fight after this with the amount of punishment he's taken. He's young, he's full of the business, so he can take these shots. But uh, can't think for a minute he'll be happy with this performance. Fans, as usual, are happy, but this is the reason he sells so many tickets. 
but I do wish he would just have a little bit more method in what he's doing. 23 straight wins for the 28-year-old Duddy. Looks for the body. And three fights back in Ireland. He's enjoying returning to New York. And has he not got the motivation for Smith yet? Strange one, really, with so much on the line. It's not the same snap in the uh, Smishet's punches now. So Duddy beginning to take that look, but he's still competitive, but he's in control now. Got the jab going, which was better boxing from Duddy, but then left himself open once more. Well, if they're still thinking about Kelly Pavlik, they must feel that he's tougher and stronger than Kelly Pavlik, and they can stand in front of him and do this and get a result. Pavlik, it's not all that hard to hit, but I would worry about Duddy in that match. Still taking clean shots he shouldn't be taking. Yes, an enormous amount of right hands have got over that low left of Duddy. Very static, very easy to hit and cut as well. Oh, that's a beautiful right for Smithette. And Duddy again wobbling, but digging in. The difference with that one, Adam, that caught him the point of the chin. And that's one of that one. What is keeping him on his feet? He is tough. End of the third. Showing a granite chin and huge resilience and heart. But Daddy, what is on the verge of disaster? Triple your storage space with the JML VAC Pack. Enjoy a festival of style this winter. Here's the Peugeot 207, Europe's best-selling car in its class with low-rate finance. And is that the Peugeot 308 down there? From £11,995. Yes, it is. Visit the Festival of Winter 2008 at your Peugeot dealer now. Jim, there was a right hand that has sliced open the left eye of John Duddy. So that's real danger. It's a bad cut as well. It's a horrible-looking cut, and it's far too early in this type of fight to sustain that kind of facial damage. But who can be surprised? And if it was the punch that caused it, then he's out of there if the injury worsens. A dramatic 24 fight for John Duddy. Still, he piles forward. Still, he has to take right hands to Smithette. It's a confident feel to the Canadians who just believe that Duddy was there for the taking. The bookmakers certainly didn't, Jim. Well, this is though Smithette can't miss him. He's solid, he's strong, and let's remember, Adam, he's taken the best that Duddy has to offer. Beautiful left hook from Smishet. And now from the other side. But wow, Duddy is showing some heart and grit and pride. And that is why he packs out the garden. But he's cut, I think, around the other side as well. Right eye too. It's a horrible night so far for John Daddy. Well, I was saying, Adam, this is the kind of fight that he's going to need a rest after. Well, it's going to be an enforced rest because it'll be a long time before he boxes with that injury again. Crowd rallying. The very amiable, charming John Daddy. Smichette is blocking a lot of Duddy's punches now. But still can't miss with the punches he comes back with. Thrilling action at the Garden, and a case of who will be the last man standing. I think it's a long time before we'll see another fight like this, Adam. This is amazing. Duddy just not interested in defence, not caring about the punches coming his way. This is as bad as I've seen him with a macho attitude. Smichette just that little bit tighter, thinking about defence, keeping his chin down and his hands up. Can't miss. Just on the back foot, Duddy. For a moment, as though he needed a respite. Is Smichette going to out-tough the Irishman? 
Well, at 20 years of age, Duddy should not be making the mistakes he's making here, but he continues to do it. It's as though he chooses to fight this way, hot-headed, but it's going to be his undoing. It's bloody and it's brutal. Every time Duddy tries to get some jabs going, and the tactics, he's drawn in. Smichette landing these big, clean punches. Boxing beautifully, Smichette. His own defences are tight. He's catching them, he's blocking them, and he's coming back with. Hey, Daddy! Wow! We made it ourselves. That is such a treat. And, it, and it's handmade. Well, this yeah. is going to be so useful. It's a uh, pot. It's for your pens at work. And your toothbrush. Yes, handmade's just that bit more special. That's why Pizza Hut mm. prepare all their pizzas by hand. And how long did it take you to make? Come on, Sambo, finis en haut. Pas tout à juste avec le main droit. Respect, respect, respect. Not one punch. It's incredible stuff. It's amazing, I mean, unbelievable how brave Duddy is. But his own work has been blocked. Right, seconds out. Smichette is coming back. Can't miss when he comes back with the counters. And you sometimes wonder what's keeping Duddy upright. Back. Only four rounds gone of a ten-round fight. And they just go back to what they've been doing for the previous 12 minutes. Body shots from Duddy. 17 knockouts for the Irishman, 13 for the Tunisian-born Canadian based. The bigger punches have been landed by Smichette, but that was a good one from Duddy. He's trying to do now what he should have been doing in the opening rounds, but still the head, too stationary. He seems to forget the other fellow was allowed to come back with punches. The left eye, Jim, looks horrific now. And it was a punch that caused the cut. So if it's stopped by the doctor or the referee in New York, that's it, Duddy loses. And he's not boxing like a man who's badly cut and who's trying to think of it. Cutting down the pun punishment that's coming towards it. Still feels he can blast this fellow out of there. No signs of it yet. I mean, he couldn't catch him any cleaner than the smashette is still there. We've seen plenty of really hard, intense fights over recent times as Duddy gets a left one in. This is an undercard battle in the States, has got a rank right up there for pure action. I mean, this is unbelievable action, certainly not one for the purists. But if you came here for the excitement, then you couldn't be served up anything better. Unbelievable. Just signs of a little sags now in Smichette's work. He's feeling the pace. He's tough, but this is not the kind of battle he'll be used to. Duddy's been in a few of them. Maybe he's just beginning to grind himself a result up here. I have him level at the moment. But Duddy doing the, the more impressive work in this round. He is more experienced. And he has a good amateur pedigree. First lace top in the gloves at five, John Duddy. 5,000 fans in here for him tonight. This is what they love. Yeah, it's, th it's not going to work, Jim, sorry, at the higher level. Yeah, and I think that's the reason he sticks with this style. I mean, he's patted on the back, I'm sure, everywhere he goes. They love watching him, they love what he does. But you want to be chapped, beautiful left hook. Smichette was shaken by that one. Smichette has. And he's looking more tired. And back he comes with some rights of his own. It's fabulous, this. I mean, you have to say, you talk about fight of the year, Adam. How are we going to get more exciting than this? Toe to toe, not having a single clinch. But he's just turning things in his favour on my car. And we're only in February. I'd love a car, but 
I'll never get financed with a CCJ against my name. Yes, you can. All over the UK, people who thought they couldn't get car finance did simply by calling You Can Car Credit on 0800 612 2394. Even if you've been refused credit elsewhere, call You Can Car Credit on 0800 612 2394 and see if you can get approval in minutes. Or visit youcancarcredit.co.uk today. You can with You Can Car Credit. George Mitchell literally lobbing the grease on that cut, which is, it's horrific, Jim. Horrendous cut. I think this is a situation when you're lucky if you're the homeboy, because you have to yeah, think if that cut was in the other corner, yes, Michette would be out of there. We've seen it happen before, happening again here. Back. On we go. Second half. Now this uh, stunning middleweight encounter, not in terms of skills, but in terms of blood-curdling drama, and that's what we've got with John Duddy and Walid Smichet going literally toe-to-toe -to -toe from the opening bell. Who's going to win? Well, it's Duddy's kind of fight. And he showed the first bit of sense I've seen from him in the previous round. He took a little breather, stood off for a, for a half a minute or so, regrouped and then come back with a couple of good attacks. Is he going to start using a little bit of savvy for a change? What a surprise that would be. Good left uppercut from Duddy. Smishet attempting to rally. A bit more clever from Duddy. But why didn't he do this from the opening bell? I mean, when you move into to this kind of class, that the Duddy's moving into. You know the second half of a fight's going to be hard, so why make the first half tough? Use your skills, use your boxing ability, which he certainly has if you look at his amateur record. But he just loves pleasing the crowd. And there's no question he knows how to do it. He was in a cracker with Yuri Boy Campus, September 2006. Round out a win over the grizzled old veteran. And his team just say he loves this trench warfare. They try and tell him to box, he enjoys it too much. Yeah, but that's why you call it a team. They should be putting some input in here and changing them. We don't want this, you don't want your face in this kind of mess. I mean, every round now, there's panic there because it, I mean, he can't see the eye, he doesn't know how bad it is. And I think, as I say, very, very fortunate still to be in there. He's boxing well in this round, he's thinking what he's doing, he's using the jab using a little bit of movement, using his feet to get himself out of range. This is what we should have been seeing in the first few rounds. With the face an ugly mess. This is John Duddy, who wants to be a Hollywood movie star when he finishes. He says it's a rocky story from Derry to New York, that this is a really rocky moment in his career. Now, this is good stuff from Duddy here. He's thinking his way around the ring now. He's forcing mistakes from Smichette and not making too many of his own. Yeah, noticeably less from Smichette. A little drop in the pace, and Smichette is happy with that. So he's... Because I don't think he was ever comfortable. He was coming out and top in a few of the rounds. I don't think he was ever comfortable with it. Duddy beginning hey. to look a little bit classier at long last. Combination, yeah. speed, bing, 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 yeah. bing, bing. You understand? Yeah. You got that in your man? Oh, yeah. All right, baby. Let's do it. That's Let's heartfelt do it. from John Duddy. He wants to impress the crowd. He's, he's a very emotional type of character. He says he's got it in him. But it, it only takes you so far, Jim, that attitude. Yeah, of course. And every fight's taking that little bit out of you when they're as hard as this. The corner are telling him to get close. What? With a horrendous injury like that, you don't want to be close, you want to be what he's doing here. But you can see my scorecard of him two points up, simply because he's won the last couple of rounds. His machete is tiring a little bit, but uh, not the performance I expected so far from John Duddy. Three judges at ringside for this non-title middleweight contest. And you sense now this may be Duddy territory. Smichette working it's a bit less trying to find the right hands and 
left hooks if he can. But being ground down by Dunny, who's so eager to make a success of this sport, and now he works the body. I mean, it must be tough, a tough situation for Smachette. I mean, he's produced his best work. He couldn't land any more cleanly. Couldn't land with any more power. And Duddy's still there. And he looks to be in the ascendancy. He's using his head now, he's using his skills. Actually, boxing well now. Yeah, claims a, a record of 100 wins in 130 amateur contests. So he can box Duddy, but again, these punches with the defence open. He returns fire to the body. I think you might just outlast Michel. Yeah, well, he's out working in this round, but you're still you're worried about the punches he's taken and how cleanly he's taken them. No, I would not be thinking of Kelly Pavlik, but you have to ask yourself, Duddy's 28, is he going to get any better or is he going to fight like this for the rest of his career? So it's a case, get him in with Pavlik before he wears himself out. Don't know what decision I don't have to make. Just a tape loose, they must have been worried. Maybe they thought that uh, Pete Santiago was going to look at the eye, but it's just a bit of tape on the glove, fortunately. And a uh, respite for the Paradons. Michette breathing heavily in the neutral corner. You've got to also ask yourself, Jim, is he going to outbox Kelly Pavlik? Is he going to out-tough Kelly Pavlik? I don't think the answer is yes to either. I mean, I'm amazed at the punches he's taken. OK, it's difficult to say just how half these punches from Smachette are, but when you look at his record, there's a puncher, but Duddy's taken them flush and he's still there. And let's remember Kelly Pavlik is a little bit vulnerable. He's been badly hurt, he's been on the floor, he's been on the verge of being knocked out. But before we get there, let's deal with this one first. This one is certainly not over. Body shot from Smichette. Blood and thunder, tight battle. Hope you're enjoying it back home. Jams to the body now from Duddy, but... Again, a punch gets in and slices the eye of the Irishman. See, Smichette is tough, and he's still able to come through Duddy's punches and get his counters on. That's the reason Duddy should be using the ring that little bit more, as he's doing now, get his punches off and get himself out of there. Doesn't want to be standing, training. That was clever, although he did get caught with a hook. Smichette did knock out. The previously unbeaten yeah. Matt O'Brien could believe he can do it to Duddy, but the Irishman might just be pulling away on the cards. I'll tell you what, the pure excitement and drama hasn't this one been good. John Duddy. Walid Smichet have not let anybody down. Who has more in the tank for the final three rounds? I mean, Duddy is showing that he can box, but it's still alarming how many counters he's caught with while he's boxing in this time. I know the pace has slowed, he's slowed, but in the later rounds now, so not quite as sharp as you should be, especially the energy is expended. But there again, look how cleanly he's caught. And here he comes again, Smichette. Duddy better boxing over the last three or four. But Smichette still hoping to land one of those jackhammer rights. No knockdowns yet. Yeah, amazingly, no knockdowns yet. Different levels, but it makes you think back to the world title affair between Diego Corrales and Jose Luis Castillo. All back home, that British scrap between Matthew Macklin and Jamie Moore. Something gave at the end of those. Now, no signs here that anyone's going to crumble. A bit more sense being shown by John Duddy here, using his skills. Still worrying, almost a... Smichette is not throwing so many counters, but almost everyone he does throw is landing. 
So it's alarming how easy it is to land on John Duddy. Right hand from Duddy. Both men must be so very tired now. They're both 28 years of age. And it's, uh, well, hats off to the conditioners, the training camp. Smichette slugging away. More authority from Duddy, who's moving so much better than he did in the first half of the fight. But still, the defence. Where are the hands, Jim, when he needs them? Yeah, they, they, they disappeared, but the head movement was very good. He was slipping most of those shots. But uh, we haven't seen... We, we should have been seeing this earlier in the fight before the damage was done, before panning had to set in, and he's been forced onto this type of defensive boxing. But maybe a lesson will be learned tonight here for John Duddy, but somehow I doubt it. I think what, what you see here is what you're always going to get. Yeah, that appeal to Don Turner in the corner told us so much, didn't it? The warrior John Duddy wants to do it for the people, but he's got to think about himself. Slightly calmer now, <laughs> at last. Well, the Americans have adopted John Daddy from Ireland as their own here in New York. He's not let them down in terms of value for money. Selling the quarter of a million dollars worth of tickets for a non-title affair. And he is putting it all on the line, but there have been many shaky moments and many questions raised here. I mean, I wonder maybe... If maybe he, he didn't give the respect to Smichette that he's due. Maybe he felt he could blast him out of there and that was the reason for the tactics. I mean, he didn't box a lot against Howard Eastman. So, I wonder... Is it just one of these crazy performances, hot-headed performances that we will not see again? But uh, part of me, I'm not convincing myself. Pete Eastman, 96-94 on points, came on strong in the last few rounds, but... Well, Howard's a sort of wise old pro, and he said afterwards that Duddy needs a lot of work if he's going to live at world title level, and I think he's right. He is right, but as I said uh, in the previous round, is he going to get an awful lot better than this? Has he just set himself up to, to fight like this? He's 28. This seems to be the way he wants to do business. So, with the toughness that he has, the freshness, the pace he can fight at, you'd have to give him a chance against Kelly Pavlik, who, as I was saying, is a little bit vulnerable himself. It would certainly be exciting for several rounds. Pretty much all John Duddy fights are. But these sort of fights shorten your career, don't they? Yeah, but without a doubt, I mean, there's, there's certainly no signs of wear and tear. Still plenty of uh, life in his boxing here. I mean, this was a horrendously hard fight for the first five rounds or so. Then he started showing a bit of sense. Still with too many counters, this is good action again. Incredible resolve from both of these, especially, I'd say, Walid Smichette, who's not expected to win, wasn't, came in, didn't want to be the fall guy, said this was his chance to shine, and he's given a really good account of himself. Still coming forward, uh, Smichette, but uh, not throwing anything like the number of punches it was earlier. Your daddy drawing away through his better boxing. That left hand just not with the power from Smichette. But his heart, well, it's been phenomenal. 
on, guys. Touch him up. Touch him up. Touch him up. Lovely ticket that John Duddy sold tonight. He'll sell again next time he boxes. Big smile on the face of John Duddy as they touch gloves for the final round of what's been a, an epic battle here at Madison Square Garden. And he's pulled away, John Duddy. Yeah, well, you see, I have him in a handy lead here, but uh, that scorecard does not tell the story of this fight. Nothing like it. He's better boxing over the last few rounds. He's built him a hefty lead, a healthy lead on my card. But boy, has he had to work for it. Cut by both eyes, and the really savage one, which they got under control, but many referees may have chosen to stop it. Could have been fortunate tonight. John Duddy. Three judges at ringside, Frank Lombardi, John Tommy. McKay and Don Matt. Trella. I'm sure they're seeing pretty much what you are. It was toe-to-toe -to -toe and then it's been more cultured. Well, slightly. Yeah, I mean, Duddy, since he changed to, to John Duddy, the boxer, some tough rounds, some tough exchanges, but he's always been that little bit busier. He's worked in almost every second of the round. Whereas uh, Smichette has been that little bit more sporadic, landing good shots, good counters, but uh, no question, Duddy is in the driver's seat for the second half of this one. He's popping out the jab, sensible this from John Duddy. But again, walking into a couple of headshots. Right hand from Smichette, who's not finished yet. What a hard, grueling night's work. Yeah, tired looking punches now from Smashet, but uh, little wonder what he's put into this. Duddy must train like a demon in the gymnasium. Certainly left nothing to chance. He's in fantastic, fantastic condition here. He's outlasted and outboxed Michette down the stretch. That's more encouraging after worrying signs in some of the earlier rounds. The cut severe, how long is that going to keep him out? And I wonder what they're going to say when they go back to the gym, back to the drawing board. Is he ready for a world title shot? Well, that's the kind of cut, Adam, that could require some plastic surgery and a long time out. It's broad, it's deep, they've stopped the bleeding and that's the reason he's still in there. Good job from Daddy. Ricky Hatton-esque support in New York, it's like Hatton enjoys in Manchester. They've got so much charisma, they're exciting. Doesn't Daddy need more? Should still remain unbeaten, though. 15 seconds left of what's been a uh, high-octane, entertaining and uh, bitterly fought battle. Joe, this has been a tremendous battle. The top of the bill has a lot to live up to. What a tremendous battle, yep. Comfortable points-wise, but how tough was that for John Duddy? Yep, they're not lumps out of each other for ten rounds, and there is the hug of respect at the end. While it's Michette, whatever happens, will go back to Montreal with his head held high. Judge Franklin Marty scores the fight. 95, 95, even. Judges John McKay. Tonight.